So welcome to my top 10 favorite videos that I made in 2021. It's not the most viewed, it's not the most liked, it's not the most, it's my favorite videos. In a test tube video, test tube is my series where I test out things, I do things or trends, or I just dye things red and green apparently. <laughs> I dyed a wedding dress red and green. This wedding dress was gifted to me a couple of years ago for a different YouTube video in which I allowed my husband to pick my wedding dress. It was not the wedding dress I wore on my wedding day. And I hadn't ever worn it since because when do you get the opportunity to just randomly wear a wedding dress around? So I thought, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to dye this red and green and I'm going to at least have a dress for when Mayo lose the All-Ireland again. <laughs> I actually, now that I think about it, forgot to wear this dress on the day. <laughs> But it, it wouldn't have mattered because it didn't come out red and green. It just came out red. <laughs> and arguably pink. <laughs> With the green arse. It has a green arse on it. It has a green splodge where the only place green took in the whole thing. Because I tried to dye the underskirt green and the only place it took was on the zip. And so, yeah. <laughs> so that's that. Irish Culture Plays Farming Simulator. This <laughs> isn't my favourite video that I've ever made. But I do think it's funny. <laughs> Making it was a nightmare and I almost had a mental breakdown and I did cry. <laughs> this game is so hard. <sighs> like I've just finished the tutorial. <laughs> so do I have to drive this harvester all the way from field 24 over to field seven? But like, what if I'm not driving the right <laughs> tractor there? I don't know about you, but I can't fucking believe that I'm full scale crying. Cause I couldn't figure out this stupid fucking game. And I did have to pay for a game that I played once and never looked at ever again. But I do think the resulting video was funny. <laughs> so isn't that the whole point of this fucking YouTube thing is to make people laugh. And at least I made me laugh. And I hope I made some other people laugh too. It's in my top 10. So reacting to the Celtics TV series. This video was actually a live stream. And the reason it makes my top 10 is because it was my first YouTube live stream after I started to live stream on Twitch and after I kind of got the hang of live streaming. Now I'd not yet figured out how to feed audio into a live stream so you can't really hear the video that I'm reacting to but I spend so much time talking that doesn't really matter and that's kind of why I like it. It's a really long live stream. It's over an hour. I'd never stop talking. Never shut the fuck up talking and I was in wild form. People just don't give you material that golden regularly. It's the material was so fucking good. I love to watch live streams. I love to watch long form content. I love to watch unedited content. I know that's not what people are here for on this channel, but I feel like I did one really good live stream where I was on. I feel like I kept the entertainment factor high. And I'm really proud of it. Um, and I really like that video. So that's why it's in my top 10. Oh, stop. <laughs> So this is another vlog that I really liked. It's called Happily Wedded War. It was another vlog where we, in, we were in quite a strict lockdown. And so we had nothing to do but annoy each other. <laughs> we, went, we went to this face of war in the house because we put a duvet cover on the bed that was white on one side and I think it was blue on the other. And Alex just wouldn't let me leave it with the blue up, he decided the white looks better up. The other day we went shopping for duvet covers and he wanted to buy a white one. What is the point of a duvet cover if it's white? It just looks like the duvet has no cover on it. The fuck? So we got into this basically duvet war where I would go in and flip the cover over so it was the colour side up and he would go in and flip it over so it was white side up. If I go into that bedroom and you have switched that duvet in, <laughs> I'm gonna fucking kill you. Alex! <laughs> How long are we going to continue to do this? <laughs> <laughs> and so we did this until one of us got bored of it, which was me. <laughs> this is one of my favourite vlogs from this year. This is another episode in the Test Tube series. This is where I tried to live like Kira Doherty from Tri Channel for a week. So if you don't know Kira Doherty, she's on Tri Channel. She can fairly put it away. But outside of Tri Channel, she's a very inspirational fashion lifestyle instagrammer you know i always see her up early walking the dog at ludicrous hours in the morning i said you know what i'm gonna do for a week i'm gonna live like hero darty and i did and by the end i was bawling my eyes out because i was so fucking tired so i'm here and i'm ready to make a cocktail and then i'm ready to watch 
an old film. Why am I crying? I am so tired. And also, it turns out I'm shite at making cocktails. I don't even have the right glasses. <sighs> <laughs> But it was a really good experiment. It gave me some really great content for my channel and it's one of the videos I'm proudest of this year. Would you sleep overnight in a castle? Europe's most popular Airbnb. I loved making this video. I loved staying in this castle. I really enjoyed meeting Peter, the owner. It was my favorite Airbnb episode to record so far. Now I know I've only recorded four of them. <laughs> for those of you that don't know, the Airbnb series is the series where I travel around Ireland trying to find the most unique accommodation. And the castle was my absolute favorite from 2021. The funny thing is that my favorite piece of content to come out of the castle was actually published in 2020. It was published as a behind the scenes in Vlogmas. And it was this clip of me running up the stairs. Okay, go. <laughs> Alex had this idea to send the drone up outside to film me outside while I ran up inside. And when I was editing it together, I edited together the noise of me running up inside. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. To the drone footage that Alex took outside. Oh my God, oh my God, that's really amazing. And also Alex mistimed the drone so it made it up before me and then I also went to the wrong turret. So she listened to your luck. Here we are. One of my favourite pieces of content that I've ever made. Oh, I'm on the wrong side! <laughs> I bent back to the door. You know, it has a it has a small dedicated fan base. <laughs> I definitely didn't get the worldwide recognition that it deserved. <laughs> I've tested lots of stuff on this channel and as part of the test tube series. But this one makes my top 10 because the product that I used actually changed my life. I loved these Maddie Body period pants. Use them all the time. Absolutely love them. Trust them in my life. Can't, cannot, cannot recommend them more. Like, just couldn't. Wouldn't be able wish I had an affiliate code or some kind of thing to share with you but I don't actually cannot live without them now and last but not least and actually not last at all because I'm going to edit this video in descending or ascending order so it's not going to be in the order I filmed it in but in the order that I film it in last but not least is a video from vlogmas it's now called admitting the vlogs are scripted because I think that's the funniest part of the video. Originally it was called like going to wild lights at Dublin Zoo because that's what, what, what we were doing. And I kind of think it got done dirty to be honest with you because it doesn't have as many views as like the rest of the vlogmases. I don't know if people clicked on it originally. Maybe my thumbnail wasn't good enough. Maybe that title put people off. I really loved this video because I think it was one of the funniest interactions me and Alex had over vlogmas where he just decided his new joke was going to be that the vlogs are all scripted and he's an actor and I don't know where he came up with that or why it just came out out of nowhere but I just think it's one of the funniest kind of back and forths we've had across vlogmas he had actually just gotten well again after being down for a few days because of his booster so he was on top tip top tippy top form and like when Alex is in top form you're getting a good vlog and that's the end of it <laughs> that's, that's it um, I also think that that Dublin Lights thing was visually one of the coolest things that I did over Christmas. Thank you to my friend Jack for the tickets and for this, inviting us. It's my favourite Vlogmas from this year, even though it, probably one of the lower viewed ones of the year. This is a Corona Vlog. In 2021, I did rename my Corona Vlog series, which is a vlog series cataloguing how Ireland was dealing with coronavirus. I renamed the series Clizzer Vlogs, thinking it could just be a vlog series about my life because coronavirus was over, wasn't it? <laughs> wasn't it? <laughs> so my favourite corona vlog, might as well just call them that forever, was called Introducing the Lockdown Games. Now this was a time where we were in a really strict lockdown for a very long time. I think it was like three months and I was really losing the will to live. And Alex really rallied. Like I presume Alex was also feeling bad, but he really rallied around me to make me feel better and that's fucking love <laughs> that's what that is and he created the lockdown games because he knows that if you give me something to be competitive in i'll feel better <laughs> welcome to the lockdown games uh, in the comments down below just either write team alex or uh, team claire game one bowling oh that's <laughs> terrible 
Oh, yeah, good, good girl. <laughs> So he invented the lockdown games. They were games that we competed in just using stuff in the house. And that sort of stuff, the shit that he does like that, is why I'll be with him forever. Take that for nothing. Not letting him go. <laughs> it has to be underhand, is it? Here's Clizzer, the young gun, trying to blaze away Can into I do it like carpet this? bowling world. It have to be like this. Uh, what? I don't care about your technique. You shouldn't really be talking to a commentator. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's a horrible looking technique. <laughs> yeah, well, you said you didn't care about my technique. This is my single favorite video that I've made this year. I think it might be my favorite video I've ever made. <laughs> the reason I love it so much is because I was in such a perfect mood. I was so devilish, just trying to annoy people. Like I was just trying to hurt people's feelings at what I say. And it worked. So I have some friends that are from Wexford. And after my Wexford rating, they text me and said, I hope the next punnet of strawberries you buy are not delicious. Which is the fucking best fuck off message I've ever received in my whole life. It's the best way to, to, to curse someone ever. <laughs> and also, hook it directly to my veins because that's exactly what I wanted. I wanted a reaction and I got it. Okay, I'm going to put Wexford in E tier because it has a... I like purple and I like gold. But it also gets put into E tier because Wexford people... Uh, are too in your face about Wexford. <laughs> so basically, every county in which I knew somebody living there got a very specific rating based on the reaction I wanted from that person. <laughs> and it worked. And it really pissed people off on the internet. <laughs> but I've watched it from start to finish a couple of times and I've laughed at my own jokes. So that's how, that's how you know I'm proud of a video. And I'd make another one, but there are no counties left. So, so those are my top 10 videos this year my favorites the ones that I'm either proudest of making or that I think are the funniest or the most entertaining or that I look back on fondest or that I like to watch <laughs> if you watched a single video of mine in 2021 thank you so much if you supported me on patreon that is literally how I keep the lights on and how I continue to be able to create content thank you so so much it is so appreciated if you contributed to my Kofi, thank you as well if you've bought my card game the crack pack thank you if you've bought merch thank you so much if you've liked any of my posts or shared any of my content on any of the platforms thank you thank you thank you i'm so grateful that i get to be a content creator full time after creating content for 10 years as a part-time gig my first full year as a content creator 2021 and it was scary and it was hard and it was easy at the same time and it was so much fun and I just I can't thank you enough if there is anything you want to see from me in 2022 ideas video idea wise please leave it down in the comments I'm after a super super lazy Christmas where I did nothing but sleep I am raring to go and to make videos so please leave down in the comments below anything you would like to see from me this year. Suggest anything. Go for it. If it's too wild, I just won't do it. So go for it. <laughs> Let yourself loose down in the comments. And thank you again for watching, liking and subscribing and supporting. And I will see you next week. Slon, slon.